If the end of the war is when actual fighting stops, then the long and bloody civil war didn't end at Appomattox Courthouse. It ended 17 days later in Durham, North Carolina, at Bennett Place, on April 26, 1865. On April 17, after many weeks of brutal fighting throughout the South, General William Tecumseh Sherman of the Union Army traveled to meet General Joseph Johnston of the Confederate Armies to discuss the South's surrender and the terms of ending the war. Sherman's aim was to end the fighting quickly and efficiently. He had taken the railroad to Durham, where he rode on horseback down the long road known as the Hillsboro Road toward the town of that name. Johnston, knowing the intent of Sherman to meet him, rode with his most trusted men toward Durham Station past Hillsboro. After meeting on the empty road, Sherman suggested returning to a small farmstead he had just passed. At this time, the Bennett family lived peaceably on a 325-acre tract just past the rail depot known as Durham Station in central North Carolina. During the war between the states, two of the family's sons and a son-in-law had died and the family was as ready as any in the young nation to have the conflict passed. The Bennett family knew nothing of the coming meeting. James and Nancy Bennett were simple yeoman farmers on whom the war had taken a significant toll. For two days in spring 1865, they played host to the 60 Confederate troops with Johnston and scores more who came with Sherman. The two generals deliberately hammered out their agreement. Sherman intended to negotiate a surrender of the Confederate troops, knowing Lincoln's intentions to reunite the country. Johnston came under orders from Jefferson Davis not to give in easily, but to take to the trees, guerrilla style, to keep fighting if needed. Both men were weary of the bloody war. With these common motives, they spent many waking hours discussing, arguing in a civil manner, and writing down agreements. Ultimately, Johnston agreed to the sweeping terms of surrender. With the war finally over, paroled soldiers all over the South were allowed to return to their families.